Hello everyone, this is Argon Matrix, welcoming you to episode 1 of The Legend of Zelda, Majora's Mask. My personal favorite Zelda game, I'm sure many people would disagree with that statement. Um, creepy mask salesman guy, yeah. <laughs> Remember him from the first game, Ocarina of Time, yeah. Yeah, but I don't know, something about this game, the way it's different... Um, from every, pretty much every other Zelda game. It just appeals to me somehow. I don't know. I've only actually played through it fully once. Like, 100% it once, but... And that was quite a while ago, so... I might have some trouble on doing some things in this... To get 100%. Yeah, there's Link sitting up there in... Whichever town this is. We don't really know yet, do we? No, we don't. Uh, yeah. Everything's all so peaceful. Oh my god, look at the freaking mask on the wall back there. Jeez. And oh, hello, Mr. Goron, wearing lipstick, missing a few teeth, I see, yeah. And you, um, yep. So this is quite, this is quite, I don't know, I like, this intro is a lot better than the one in Ocarina of Time, where you see Link riding his horse, but that's just my opinion. I like this one a lot better, it tells you more, it like, vi it tells a visual story, if you will, about the town. Now we're at night, that's cool. I saw Link sitting up there on top of the roof. There's just some weird bug fairy thing. We have no idea what any of this stuff that we're seeing is yet, but we're going to get into that. Oh man, I love this game so much. I don't know, yeah. I think that, I think like Ocarina of Time is probably my second favorite Zelda game next to this one, but yeah, this one's just pretty crazy awesome. I don't know. There's a lot to do in this game, so expect this game to take a while. It might not take as many parts as Ocarina of Time because of, like, I can use the 15 minute time limit the whole way. Anyways, um, yeah. Going up to the top of the clock tower here. Sweet. Hey, who's that guy? What's he doing? Oh! Nice face, man. Get your face out of my place. Wait a second. What the, what the hell is that? That looks like the moon, but... Oh. The Legend of Zelda. Majora's Mask. Just like I told you, I wasn't lying. And, yep, this is pretty much the oddball, the black sheep of the Zelda series. But it's just so much different. Um, I didn't want to start that again. Whatever. Alright, so let's see here. Oh, yeah, see, there's only two files that you get to pick from this sign. This was a practice file that I kind of started. I guess we'll erase that. Uh, there's how far I got, I guess. Alright. And here we go, we're going to play in file 2 this time. As all, as last time, as with last time in Ocarina of Time, we're going to name ourselves Argon. Hell yeah. Argon's a sweet name, isn't it? Alright, and, and, are we just going to get thrown, nope, we have to actually select it. Zero rupees, no masks, whatever that means, no heart pieces, three hearts. Let's get started here. Alright, what are we going to start with this time? In the land of Hyrule, there echoes a legend, a legend held dearly by the royal family that tells of a boy. A boy who, after battling evil and saving Hyrule, crept away from the land that had made him a legend. Done with the battles he once waged across time, he embarked on a journey, a secret and personal journey. Why so secretive? A journey that in search of a beloved and invaluable friend. And? A friend with whom he parted ways when he finally fulfilled his heroic destiny and took his place among the legends. And I didn't know if you could hear that, but at the end of that, there was a little sound, kind of like the sound that Navi makes. I don't know. Yep, so I wonder who that boy they were, that they were talking about just a second ago was. Who could it be? Could it be him? It looks like Link. He looks sad. Why so sad, Link? Why so glum, chum? Wait a second. Two fairies. And one of them is black or purple or something. What's going on here? Was that other one Navi or something? Oh, I need to think of a, a voice for that fairy too, damn it. Because I had a funny voice for Navi. I need to think of a different one really quick. Okay, I think I got it. Let's see. What are you looking for, Link? Yes, there's a lot of trees around. You can see we can all see that. Hey dude, pay pay attention, Link. What? <laughs> I told you to pay attention, man. You should have listened to me. What's wrong with you? 
And what's going on with these two fairies anyways? Like, what do they want with me? Oh, hello. I recognize you from the intro. <laughs> Creepy laugh for the loss. Hee <laughs> hee, you two fairies did great. I wonder if he has anything good on him. That's not a really good voice for him, but whatever. Huh? This guy? Well, that shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> what are you gonna do, dude? Are you gonna, like, jack me? Are you gonna rob me? Are you gonna steal my horse? You won't go steal my horse now, are you? What are you doing? Hey, don't touch me. What the fuck are you doing? What do you think? What? Dude. Dude, stop. No! That's my ocarina. That's my ocarina of time. Oh, oh, what a pretty ocarina. Hey, Skull Kid, let me touch it. I want to see. Okay, yeah, I think... I don't think I should give him a deep voice, even though that is a male fairy. But whatever, let's see. I think that... Let's see if I can get this. You can't tell. What will we do if we dropped it and broke it? No way, you can't touch it. Wow, that's an annoying voice even for me. Oh, but sis, why can't I try it out too? Because you're an asshole, and no one, else, no one should be trying out my ocarina except me. Look at Link, he looks stoned out of his mind. He's like, what the fuck are you doing with my ocarina? He's like, oh, he's trying to hide it now? You can't hide it, i already seen it. The evidence is already against you. What? No! I told you not to steal my horse. Oh, Link, you're so brave. I'm dragged along, along the ground. Just like that. Ugh. Oh my god. We're dragging him off the horse too. Come on, Link. You can do it. Oh my god, that must hurt so much. Horrible. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah. And he's gonna round the corner and lose us, isn't he? That's always how it works. Yup. Just like I thought. Uh, I remember the first time I played this game, I sat watching this like opening scene here in awe, like with my mouth open. I was like, oh my god. And then I said the stupidest thing ever. There was no one around. I just said it to myself. I was like, now that's how a Zelda game should start. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, looking back on that now, I'm like, no, what? Like, who cares? But yeah, as you can know, probably already tell just by this opening, um, this game is a lot different. And Link's got a few new moves. Awesome. Flipping through the air and stuff. So, yeah. Let's follow this guy. Wait, what? Whoa. Don't fall. Don't fall. No. Damn it. Where'd my horse go anyways? How do you get my horse up there? What the hell? Now where's this coming from? There's like clocks and ocarinas and masks and... What the hell is going on? I'm so confused. Flower? Flower power? Why is the flower so flat? And why is he floating in midair now? How did... There's... This game makes no sense at all. What's with that stupid horse of yours? It doesn't listen to a word that's said to it. Link's so serious. There's no point in, ri in riding a thing like that. So I did you a favor and got rid of it. Hee <laughs> hee, you did- What? What the fuck? Oh boohoo, why the sad face? Why did it even have a pony? I'm not supposed to be able to ride a pony as a little kid. I just thought I had a little fun with you. Oh, come now. Do you really think you can beat me as I am now? Fool. Don't shake your face at me. Get no. What? Ah, migraine. Horrible. Uh, uh, so painful. What's going on? I think he just, like, I think I'm high now. What in the world? Zooming in on my face. Just like that scene in Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Remember that? That's an awesome scene. What the hell? What? Stop breaking... Stupid dip, dip, the, the Deku scrub. They're raping me. Go away. I don't want you. No. Run, Link, run. Love of God. Roar. Whoa. That was scary, man. What was the point? What? 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 Huh? No. What the fuck? I'm, I'm wooden. I'm Wooden Link, and I'm, I look like emo, and hee <laughs> hee, now that's a good look for you. No, not really, dude. Now, no, what? Hey, dude, don't leave me here. Why are you laughing and, like, waving goodbye and, you bitch? What? You stupid fairy. Don't hit me like that. Why, why are you beating me up, fairy? And then, hey, sisters. And they get separated. Well, serves them right. They were just being jackasses. Well, 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 
gotta keep away from me, I'm still here. Taya, you can't leave without me. She tried to bang against the door and... Oh, oh, sad face. You, if I, was, if I wasn't dealing with you, I wouldn't have gotten separated from my brother. Well, that's not my fault. You didn't have to hit me in the face repeatedly. Well, don't just sit there, thank you, boy. Do something. Oh, that voice is so hard to do. Why are you looking at me like that? Is there something stuck on my face? You don't have a face. You're a fairy. Damn it, I can't even say that line to you. You stupid. Will you stop staring and just open that door for me? Please, come on, the hell this little girl is asking you, so hurry up. I tell you, I wonder if the child will be alright on his own. Don't worry about him. I mean, whatever. Anyway, so now we actually gain control of our little Deku form here. Um, if you press A, instead of rolling, you do that real spin thing. It makes you go quite a bit faster, actually, than just normal walking and stuff. You get some rupees here. Always useful. Yep, uh, yeah, so I guess let's keep on going and figure out what we need to do. When I first played this game, I didn't realize that you could actually just walk up to the store and open it, so I was, like, trying to, f like, use this flower over here to do stuff and, like, wandering around. And I, like, wandered around for, like, ten minutes. I'm like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? When realistically, you just have to o open the door. And thankfully, she doesn't tell you how to open a door like Navi did. That was annoying as hell. Hey, wait for me. Don't leave me behind. So, um, that's stuff back there. I, um, I apologize. So, so take me with you. What? I'm supposed to just take you with me after you apologize? I don't think so. Come on, Link's not that stupid, is he? You stoop. You wanna know that skull- What? Where the- Where the- You wanna know about that skull kid who just ran off, right? Skull kid? What? That was the skull kid? Take me with you and I'll help you out. Deal? Deal? Or no seal? Deal, I guess. Fine. Good, I'll settle. Now I'll be your- Now, nah, wait- now then, I'll be your partner. We're leaving until we catch that skull kid. My name's Tattle. Oh, uh, so uh, it's nice to meet you or whatever. Or whatever. That's just a typical thing to say. Now, well, now that we've got... Yeah, <laughs> oh my god. Now that we've got all that straight there, can we stop messing around and get moving? I, if I figure something out, press C up and I'll tell you. Hopefully you'll manage to get by, by without my help until then. Until when? You didn't even specify a time or anything. <laughs> <laughs> what, what the hell was that? He, Link just like looked at the screen and he, he like put his hands out and he like shook his head. It's like a sitcom or something. It's like, do 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 do. Oh no. Bollocks. More rupees for the win. Don't actually have to come down here at all. There's this strange little elevated platform here. I don't know what purpose it serves, but anyways, yeah. If you press C up right there, Tattle will tell you that you can like go into these flowers by pressing A. And then once you're like, ba your mouth is sticking out in there, I don't know. Um, you can release A and jump out of them. Then you kind of float around for a bit, a little flying thing. I don't care, Tattle. I already like I already explained this. Though. All right, whatever. I, yeah. Did I get that? Yes. Are you sure? Yeah. And one thing that ta well, one of the many things that Tattle has better than Navi is that instead of making that hey listen sound. She just makes that little ding 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 sound that you've heard when she wants to tell you something. Oh, something also I should note. If you remember, she said that her brother's name was Tail. Get it? Tattle? Tail? Ha ha ha. But it's tragic misspelling on both accounts. Oh wait, can I actually... Oh, I can move. That was the oddest camera angle you could have put me at to be able to move. Alright, oh, 14 minutes already. I'm just having so much fun, man. I'm so, having so much fun blasting through the first part here that I didn't even realize I'm almost done. Alright, um, so I guess in the next episode, we are, which will be part two, obviously. Why I, why I had the need, why I felt the need to say that, I don't know. But yeah, in the next part, we'll go ahead and open this chest, see what lies inside. I can't wait. So excited. Anyways, thank you everyone for watching this part one. It was awesome. This is Argon Matrix signing up. Thank you and good night.